Scary moments on stage in Alberta for one of the world's best-selling music artists of all time. Singer Meatloaf collapsing mid-performance during a concert in Edmonton last night. Rushed to hospital. CTV's Miranda Ann Thistle here in studio with me this morning following this developing story. First off, Miranda, any word on Meatloaf's condition? Well, Todd, Meatloaf was taken to hospital in Edmonton, but his condition is still unknown. We know he collapsed on stage during his hit song, I Would Do Anything For Love, But I Won't Do That. And of course, tons of fans were taking videos at the time it happened, so it was all caught on camera. Take a look. <laughs> Now you can see Meatloaf is singing, but then he drops his microphone before falling to the floor. His backup singers and musicians rushing to his side to help, the music eventually stopping, and concert goers were asked to vacate the arena. Now there have been a few health concerns for Meatloaf in recent days and years. The 68-year-old actually cancelling two other concerts leading up to the one in Edmonton due to poor health, the first in Moose Jaw last Saturday, and the other in Calgary. Now given Meatloaf is known for his theatrical performances, some concert goers actually thought his falling down was all part of the show, but others say the singer appeared weak from the moment he got on stage. It was very, very scary. The whole concert he was shaking, he barely sang, he had other people from his band that were mostly doing the singing. He didn't really move around too much and uh, it, was, it was pretty bad, it was very scary. In the crowd that were EMTs and the doctor on stage immediately and uh, what happened was uh, that, that I was told through somebody else that he was, he was speaking and he was moved to the, the University of Hospital. The award-winning singer shot to fame in 1977 with his Bat Out of Hell album and went on to sell 43 million copies worldwide and still sells 200,000 units every year. And while Meatloaf's publicist isn't commenting on his condition, a local Edmonton radio station says Meatloaf was awake when he was taken to hospital and that he did know his name. Todd? I'm also curious as well, this is not in fact the first time that he has collapsed on stage, uh, Miranda. That's right. So back in 2011, he actually needed medical attention during a concert in Pittsburgh. But Meatloaf did get up and finish that show. And in 2003, he collapsed at Wembley Arena in London and had to be taken to hospital again. Now Meatloaf says he suffers from asthma and from a medical condition that causes an irregular heartbeat. Todd, I'll send it back to you for now. All right. We'll keep our eye on this story throughout the morning. Thanks, Miranda, for this. You're welcome.